Hi, my friends. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I wanted to talk with you about a hot topic on the internet, and that is warm-ups and routines. And I just wanted to share some of my thoughts with them, because I talk a lot about this with my students. And I think it's really important to, to have a distinction between the two and, and to think about um, creating a really great routine that's going to help your needs the most. So first thing, is there a difference between a warm-up and a routine? And I think there is. So to me, a warm-up is something that is relatively short. I like to be able to warm up in less than five minutes. Uh, a warm-up to me is something that I do to mentally get ready for the, the day ahead with my plane and also to physically get ready for, for whatever I need to practice. Um, I really like to do just some kind of relaxing exercise. I'll take some nice, relaxed, deep breaths. Uh, I don't do a ton of breathing exercises, except that I, I do like to move air and just make sure that I'm really relaxed. And then I like to buzz my mouthpiece personally, just a little bit. Um, sometimes I'll just come up with something really simple, like uh, Mary had a little lamb. I'll try it in a few different keys. I like to do uh, just some chromatic scales on my horn slowly, uh, just to get my, my lips working and feeling great. And then I jump in. To my routine. I don't think it's a great thing to have a really long warm-up. As you get older and you get busier, there's just time, you know, you won't have the time in the day. And it's great to be able to play your best and sound great really quickly. And I think it can be a real crutch to have a really long warm-up. So I encourage a short warm-up. So what is a routine? A routine to me is an amazing opportunity to focus on your weaknesses. And I think we should all develop a routine around things that we want to get better at. So I really like to focus on concepts rather than play the exact same thing in every routine. I know some people like to do the exact same thing in a routine. Um, and I'll explain why I like to do concepts. I think so many people do autopilot practice. And that's not a good way to practice. And so I would like when I practice to be really aware of the benefits. Why am I doing something? So I think too often people just try to get through a routine and just play through it, where it's just kind of mindless practice. And I felt like over years, I did that for a long time. And I feel like I learned so many bad habits by doing that. So I would encourage you, come up with, with a routine that's tailored around your needs. So for my own private students, they don't do the same things. I write like a prescription for exactly what's ailing them and what they need. And, and then it switches. After a while, they get really great at, at these different things. They don't need to do that so much and they, they will change their routine up. So some of the concepts that I like to focus on every time when I'm practicing is um, being really relaxed, I, I can't stress that enough. There's so many performance injuries because of repetitive tension. So learning to really relax. Um, and I focus a lot on posture. So making sure my head is nice and balanced. I'm bringing my trombone up to my face. And I, I like to make sure that I'm getting a really relaxed breath. Um, I think we're all really great breathers. But I think working on just getting full relaxed breaths I like to focus way more on, on releasing just steady air. I think steady air is a really great concept to, to focus on. I always strive to play with a beautiful sound, and that changes each day. But if it's not working great, sometimes uh, I will buzz my mouthpiece a little bit. I love to sing when I practice. That's a really great concept. I feel like if you have a real clear idea of what you want something to sound like, that it will come out of your instrument a lot easier. I like to focus on having really clear articulations, so the beginnings of my notes are, are exactly how I want them to be, rather than sometimes air attacks or split notes or kind of clumsy articulations. I love to focus on having great rhythm when I'm doing my routines. So to me, being a musician is like being an Olympic athlete. So we want to make sure that we have just fantastic rhythm because that really synchronizes a lot of different things in our music. Um, 
part of beautiful sound to me is playing really in tune. So they're kind of the same thing. If you're if you sound beautiful, you're also playing very in tune. And then another thing that I think is so important to incorporate in one's routine that I think is neglected probably the most, and that is playing with expression. It's so easy as trombone players to play like a robot. So, you know, doing things like crescendos and diminuendos, um, playing different dynamics, playing with different articulations. It's so easy to go on autopilot and just have one mode, mezzo forte, tenuto, um, you know, so that's something just to think about. So some other things that I like to utilize in my routine, I like to gliss. I think it's great to get rid of our tongue just to make sure our air is steady. Uh, I think some people go absolutely crazy with glissing. There's there's an interesting thread Alex Isles wrote about this, and I absolutely agree with him. I think it can be helpful, but I don't think that's necessarily the only way we should practice. One of the superfoods for, for practicing uh, routine, I think, is doing scales and arpeggios. Uh, they are such a superfood. You can work on so many different aspects of your playing, whether it's um, slide technique, you can work on tuning, you can work on range, you can work on tonguing. There's so many amazing things. So I would definitely encourage your routine to have a lot of scales uh, and arpeggios. Well, I shouldn't even say a lot, but we should focus on some. I think that's another problem I see with people with routines. They try to cram way too much into one routine. So I like to keep mine simple and make sure that I'm just getting better and making it better and refining whatever I'm working on. So it's continually getting even just 1% better each time I practice. I like to work on connections between notes. Um, I think a lot of people, again, this goes back to the steady air idea. A lot of people let their air stream dip. Um, so you get the wah, football kinds of sounds. So I think having great connections between notes. I love to focus on my natural slurs and tongue slurs. And then I'm making sure that I'm really smooth between notes. And I'm really efficient. My embouchure is really moving minimally. And I'm getting between the sweet spot of one note to the sweet spot of the next note. And um, I also, the, I guess the final thing that I really like to focus on is the coordination between my air, my tongue, and my slide. I call it the Bermuda Triangle because often one of these is missing and, and it really affects our playing in a negative way. So you can come up with exercises that work on all these different things. And I would, again, just make a list of what you want to get better at and then divide or design your routine around those things. And you should see dramatic growth in your playing really quickly by doing this. So I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at trombone101.com. Thank you.